don't know what they're called. The spaces between seconds. But those intervals have refused to heal the pain of your passing. Death. Do you smile on what you've made of us? You said I could do this. You said I could do better. You taught me all I need to float. Yet I sink. What am I missing? Our business is dying. Our branches are closing. We can't pay our debts. We're losing everything. Talk to me, Clifford. Tell me what to do. What do I do? To me. Yes, who is it? Ma, are you okay? What is it? Everyone has been gathered as requested. Okay, I'll be right behind you. Okay, ma. First off, I call this meeting to thank you for your kind services. We appreciate your support and we will not forget. And also to inform you that um, we are going through some financial difficulties and can't afford to accommodate all of you. So basically, your services are no longer required, starting from this month end. Only Margaret's days. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. But not to worry. I have instructed Colade, the company account officer, to credit you all with 500,000 naira. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Please invest it wisely. Margaret, um, yes, ma. I need you to call the driver and make sure he goes to pick up Melanin from the airport. Okay, right away, ma. James, just, uh... you know my daughter is coming in today. Prepare something with loads of vegetables for her. Okay? okay? Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. one last night and I've been trying to get to the doctor for, for further advice but he's not taking his calls. Call the driver. Ask him if he has picked my daughter from the airport. Okay ma. Call him. Uh, you can all get back to your duty post. She will be fine.
You're welcome, ma'am. I want to know why I'm being picked up in this crap. Like the only daughter of a billionaire being picked up in this crap. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ma how was the flight? How was the flight? Like you've ever been on a plane before. I have seen birds. Hello? Yes, ma'am. We're heading home. Is that my mom? Yes. Hand over the phone to me now. Really, mom? Is this the best reception you can give to your only daughter? Are you stupid? Will you give the phone back to my mother? What are you talking about? Oh no, is she okay? Listen, listen, just listen to me, okay? Um, okay, yes, I promise you. Stop the car! I said stop the car right now! Yeah. Yes, I get you very well. Mm hmm It doesn't make sense. Yes, I got the SMEs. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Nope, I told you. No, it's inevitable that I'll go. Yes. Are you stupid? Must you show the whole world that you don't have sense? Didn't you know that this was a quick thing? Why did you follow me? But mom said I should put an eye on you now. Put eye on me. Nigeria, so that I'll take you home safely. My friend, go and look for the owner of this plastic. Yes, ma'am. You don't even have sense. Are you supposed No sense. Foolish people. Fine. I, mean, I just want to give you a heads up before coming into. Yeah, before I bring them to you. Excuse me. Um, Excuse me. Excuse hold me. on a minute, Mr. Jonathan. Yes. Are you the owner of that toy? I beg your pardon? Don't beg for it yet. Are you the idiot that parked that remnant of a car outside? Please, you need to crawl out. I want to move. I'm in a hurry. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, can I call you Excuse back? me. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, is that the vehicle I'm blocking? Yes, yes, that vehicle. You're blocking my vehicle, please. You if to... I am not mistaken, that should be a 2004 Toyota product, which by my calculations would be, in this year, make it about 17 years old at least. Wouldn't that make you qualify as a jalopy? Is well, that what I'm blocking? If this nonsense you just said out of your mouth now will make you sleep well at night, it's fine. But you need to crawl out. I want to move! You do know good manners maketh a lady. But just for curiosity's sake, what if I don't? You wouldn't dare. <laughs> fine. Well, you would have to go ahead and call the president because I dare. <laughs> now you listen. You do not know whom you're up against. Trust me, I am not your type of male. So please, crawl out, I need to move! Oh, I'm so sorry. Your Majesty, I had no idea that I was talking to maybe the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth, or perhaps the most popular black TV show host, Oprah Winfrey. Or perhaps the legendary Margaret Thatcher. Because I'm sure if you are one of these people, I will surely have recognized you right away. But being that as it may, 
I blame nobody but your father for not teaching you manners. Otherwise, I would have had to spank you myself when you're not yeah. a lady and you would take care not to try that nonsense because there are very few of me that will show this kind of restraint. Now put your misty hands by your side and behave yourself. What nonsense? Can you imagine your rude customer? Can you imagine this rude thing? You are very lucky that I'm in a very good mood today. Otherwise, I would have dealt with you. I'm a, excuse me, I would have dealt with you. Is that you are coming? You are lucky. I'm a peace-loving person. Today is a good day for you. Please go and open the door. Let's be going. Park your car. You will not tell your driver to move forward. Big man, next time, try me. Welcome. Just welcome. Really? So what now? You jump on your bed on first thing tomorrow morning, you sneak out from your own house like a thief. Me sneak out? Okay, I'm sorry, babe. Listen. Don't, don't, wait. don't, don't, don't touch me. Let me explain, please. Eh? Look, I had to go out for a meeting. I mean, this CBN governor had to call for a video meeting. I had to leave very early. See, look at the time I came back. I came back early, didn't I? Oh, you called returning home to your wife at 6, 13 p.m. early. <laughs> like you're the first business owner I've ever seen. Come on, Bankole. For God's sake, tomorrow is our anniversary. Uh, and it means nothing to you. No, don't even go there. Don't even go there because I have made plans for us. Don't even accuse me of that. Besides, how many of your wives, their business husbands, come back at this time? I came back early because of you. Speaking of which, mm. regarding our plans tomorrow, mm. I have made absolute plans for us. I got you a brand new dress, the type mm. you like. Mm. The blonde hair that I like, which I'm going to get freaky about over today. No, I'm serious. Well, mm. but I'm still mad. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry I sneaked out. Stop. Mm? This is mad. not going to work. Wait, it will work. This your whatever is not oh, going to work. Look at your eyes. Stop looking at me with those Stop. eyes. are so dangerous. It's not working. Ah, wait, I'm now. taking your bag upstairs. Say you love me. Say you love I'm me. Taking this say you love me. Take say your hand off me. me. Say you love me. Now, don't say you love me. I'm not going to leave you alone. Come here. Stop. Say you love me. Hey, babes. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm great. <laughs> you smell good. Is mm. this guilty by Gucci? You know now. Oh, wow. As always. Yeah, right. <laughs> are you heading out? I thought you're not supposed to be going out today. Yes, baby. Uh, I need to do a handover for human resources for Kiki Darling. Remember her? So I need to do that right away. But as soon as I'm done, I'll be back in SAP. I promise. Be safe. That's fine. Thank you. I'll All be right. see you soon. All right. Hey. Yeah? I have a good news and a bad one. Good news and bad news? Mm hmm Please, let me have the good news first. I, okay. I don't have time for... <sighs> Calm down. <laughs> well, tell me now. <laughs> okay. I'm pregnant. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. You're pregnant? Mm. As in... Yes. Are you serious? Yes. You're serious? <laughs> yes! Yes! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I'm so... After seven years... Are you serious? I'm going to be a father. What are you doing? Okay, you know what? You're not... You're you not serious? doing any work. No, 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 no. You're not doing any work. Call Come someone... Up. Listen. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. What's the bad news? That can wait until you return. Yes. Don't be okay, you know what? The good news is good enough for me. Listen, sit down first. Eh? Let me get back. And keep the, where's your phone? Keep your phone beside you because the delivery man, when he comes, make sure you don't miss his call. Do you okay. understand? Yes, Relax. Boss. Let me come back first. I'm coming. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Good morning, ma'am. Welcome. 
Good morning, ma. Um, you're welcome, ma. Um, my name is Mike Paulson, the HR manager. Um, may I show you around, ma? Right after you. Why is my picture not up there? Ah, these are... They are just... Fix it. Okay, ma. Okay. So that is, uh, Mr. is this? Mr. Terracruz's office. Yes. Is Mr. Badnos back on his sabbatical leave? No, ma. He's not. We'll be back next week. All right, uh, I want you to assemble all the stuffs. Okay. We're having a meeting later today. All right, ma. This organization needs a proper facelift. I am not satisfied with the current standard of oppression as it's below zero for me. So we need a thorough tidy up from top to bottom. We will be relieving unnecessary manpower and empowering a few. Some of the staffs in this organization do not even fit to be called cleaners in this organization. Not to talk of a staff. You are the HR manager, right? Yes, ma'am. Work on this and keep me posted. Yes, ma'am. As you wish. You can go. Hold on a second. I need you to make photocopies of this document and have them sent back to me. And then inform the secretary that I do not want to receive any visitors for the next six hours, except for Mr. Dimitri that I have his meeting set up for one o'clock. Thank you, ma'am. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Mike, call the security. Yes, ma'am. I can't be in the wrong office, can I? How did you find me? Find you? You work here? Mm -hmm. I own it. You're Mrs. Kiki's daughter, Mel Darling. What are you doing here? How did you find me? So you chose Monday of all days to flirt with a woman. Flirt? I, 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 sorry. Hello? Yes, yeah, sir. This is Eric from FindManager.com. Yes. Yes, sir. You placed an order and I'm here to deliver it. Yeah, I'm on your street now, sir. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, I've left already. But not to worry, uh, my wife is at home. Yeah, you can call her okay, on okay, 080 333 That's 080 333 She'll give you the directions to the way. All right. Yes. All right. Sorry, you were saying? That you have five seconds to take your idiot self out of my office. Otherwise, I'll call her. Oh, hi. Good day, ma'am. Good day. My year is a delivery. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Ma, please, can you sign for me? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. This should be fine. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, thank you. you. Have a nice day. All right, thank you. Listen, I don't know what's going on in your head, but I actually came here to see... How do you let loose such a man? on a Monday morning to go flirting. Who is this? 
do you mind asking your husband what he's doing in my office on a Monday morning flirting with me? <laughs> Listen, young lady, I don't know what this is all about, but whoever you have there cannot be my husband. Mm -hmm. Cannot. Well, what I have here, or who I have here, is a man wearing a blue native with a brown sash. And if I am not mistaken, he's wearing Guilty by Jojo and Marnie. And if my information is correct, you can find me at number 10, Old Gary Road, Port Harcourt. Find me and get him. Well, Mr. Man, you still have time to escape before she arrives. Before who arrives? <laughs> you really were talking to my wife? It can't be. We'll see. Open the gates! I'm not open the gates! I said before, I actually came here to see Mrs. KK Darling over something. I don't really don't want any problems. If that's going to be a problem for you, it's okay. I'll give her a ring instead. Mr. Man, get out of my office. I have things to do. That's fine. No problem. Yes, Daniel, what is it? I got problem do, problem do. Yes? I don't know gas in it. Beg your pardon? Better pray nothing happens to her. Get lost, idiot. Nonsense. Oh, darling, you're back. How Mom. was your day? What happened? Mom, I'm so upset. Remember the guy I told you about the other day? Which one? The one I met on my way back from the airport, that stupid guy. Oh, at the pharmacy. Exactly. Mom, he was at the office today. You should have seen his ego. I swear to God, that idiot is stalking me. Wait, how did he know where you were? I don't know for him. And I believe that he's doing it on purpose. I swear to God, Mom, the next time I'll catch that idiot around me again, I'm going to send him to jail. <laughs> Perhaps you should have given him a chance to say why he was following you. Really? You know you're an attractive young woman. Maybe he likes you. <laughs> He's not my type. <laughs> That's exactly what I said when I met your father. <laughs> <laughs> not this one, Mom. There's a standard. <laughs> oh, by the way, how was the meeting with uh, Mr. Bankole Badmos? How did it go? Bankole Badmos? Who is that? The MD of Highstone Bank. I was supposed to meet with him this morning and I even forgot to tell you and I forgot to tell him I wouldn't make it. Oh no, I have to reschedule. I didn't see anyone by that name though. Oh, don't worry dear, you work so hard. Hmm? Mm. Make sure you get some rest. Hmm? Thanks, Mom. I've been at this for a while. Let me go up. <laughs> Talk of the devil. Mr. Banks, I am so so, so sorry. I forgot to tell you I couldn't make the meeting because I had a health challenge. Can we reschedule? What? How? 
I was just with Kim three days ago. My lord. Just calm down. I'll be with you shortly. Mom, what is it? It's... I'll... What is it? What is it? Oh. Is everything okay? Brethren, we are here today gathered to lay to rest the remains of our departed sister, Sister Kim Badmos, who slept in the Lord. This is not going to be a time for merriment. Like the Bible said in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1, that for everything under the heavens, there's a time and a season, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to sow and a time to reap. A time to marry and a time to mourn. I want us to use this event here today as a point of sober reflection. We all should reflect on our lives to know if we have lived a life worthy of eternity. Most of you will be wondering where is that mechanism that has always made Kim smile, talk, laugh? Where is she right now? Let us all make right our ways because it is very, very painful and disheartening that you have a beautiful life here on earth and spend your eternity in anguish and pain. Please let us all pray for our departed sister. Let us pray that God grants her through passage to internal rest. Let us pray that the Almighty God receives her into his bosom forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so sad. Please accept my sympathy. You know you can talk to me anytime. Yes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Oh. This is my daughter, Mel. This is Bankole Badmos, the CEO of Eyestone Bank. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Your daughter is just as beautiful as you, madam. Thank you. I am I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your your loss. I, I deeply sympathize with you. Um, I have to go now, please excuse me. I'll be outside.
she okay? Oh, she'll be fine. She's just sad. Yes. So this is my observation, right? I want this moved from here and fixed here. So you need to call the interior decorator, okay? So how many meetings do I have for today? Two, ma. Two? Yes, ma. Um, I want my meeting fixed with Mr. Deji for 1 p.m. Yes, Give him a call, okay? Yes, ma. So, from here, fixed here. Yes, ma. When we move this, should we replace it with something else? I don't want anything there. Don't fix any nonsense there. Just move this thing and put it here. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Attention, everybody. You've been asked to stop work immediately. Henceforth, this place will be sealed. Excuse me, who are you? And by whose order? By the new CEO, the chief executive director of the company. Hello, Mel. What's all this nonsense about? Madam, we have court orders to restrain you and your employees. You can talk to your mother, Mrs. Kiki, darling. Or better still, get a lawyer. What nonsense are you talking about? What she is trying to explain to your little dim brain, as of this moment, you, as well as every one of your employee, is fired. You have two seconds to leave this building. You must be very crazy to think that you can walk into my company with this tout to try to bully me and take my company. You know what? Everyone get back to your duty post and ignore this idiot of a man. Yes, ma'am. Officers! Bundle this lady and get her out of here. Anyone who so much as touches even an office pen, arrest them. Do your job. Do yeah. not touch move, me. Move, move, move. Stop moving. You must be very crazy. Move. Don't touch me. You must be out of here. I'm not done with you. Be very careful when you touch me. They're moving. Out of here. Out of here. Get out of here. I don't think you're moving. No. I don't think you're moving. I don't think you're I can lose my job. Are you still here? Stop. Yes, sir. Stop. Yes, sir. Call. And Kulibad must pick your damn call. Mom, what's going on? What's going on? Are we going to allow that bastard walk? Are we going to allow him just take over our company just like that? No. The world is probably right before me. Bankole. How could you do this? How? Mom, what's going on? What does he want? We are in debt. Nobody told me. You just came back. We're going to tell you anyway. <sighs> Mom, how can you and Dad do this? Why? We had this under control. I had his late wife talk to him and he agreed to extend the loan for another three years. I don't, I don't know why he just changed his mind at this point. Someone is trying to sabotage me. <sighs> we can't afford to lose our company now. We can't. It's all we have left. Hello. God, this can't be happening. Mel! Mel! 
Rape! What took you so long? I've been expecting you. What do you want from me? What do you have to give? It is me you want. Okay? Let my mother be and come for me. And what value do you have to give? I mean, you're not worth 10 billion naira, and that in my box is real value. So again, what do you have to give? Listen, just because you sit on that chair with the borrowed title from your late father doesn't make you a thing. Read my news. You cannot take over my company. Never! You have no company. You have no company. You sit on this chair because I permit you to. You have nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You are broke. You are skint. You are entirely living at my mercy. And just so you know, you have 14 days to get all your things out of that house or you and your mother will be thrown out into the streets. 14 days. You bastard! You are a bastard! So you think doing all of this will avenge the death of your wife? I did not kill your wife! I did not fucking kill your wife! I never said you did. Then what the hell do you want from me? Like I said before, what do you have to give? Okay, I can, I can continue this nonsense with you. You will hear from my lawyer. Marry me. That is why I said... you say such a disgusting thing to me? What has come over you? I love him. Shut up! What do you want people to say? It's barely three months since his wife died and you already consider yourself a marriage candidate for Mr. Bankole? Have you forgotten what he did? He took away our company. <sighs> That's it, Mom. We are going to get everything back. Our company, our houses, even our... I do not care about all those material things. Not to your detriment. But that's it, Mom. I will not allow you gamble your happiness away just because of the company. Well, I love him, Mom. And you're not going to stop me. Oh, yes, I will. You will not marry him. I'm pregnant. Yes, Mom, I'm... I'm carrying his child. Please, Mom. Please. Just curious. What do you intend to get out of this? And for how long are we to stay married? For as long as I decide. Mm. This seems like fun to you, right? But well, you are about to experience the worst days of your life. For I will eat you for lunch. Well, that would be my life, wouldn't it? Besides, uh, I don't do lunch. Sorry, I kept you guys waiting. I had an emergency. Um, I must say, you look good together. Thank you. So I understand that uh, you're getting married in a few weeks' time. That is correct. Mm. So how long have you known each other? Five days. Darling, pay her no mind. We've been married for five months. Um, personally, it's been one of the most wonderful moments of my life. Describe your partner in five words. Smart. He's a savage. Special. He's a sissy. She's gorgeous. He thinks less than his shoe size. Why are you getting married? Personal reasons. Where do you see this marriage in five years? Good question. In hell. What do you want out of this marriage? I want out. Excuse me. What is that all about? Uh, pay her no mind. Um, 
I was just thinking, can we reschedule? Welcome to the Mason Quarters. Mason Quarters boasts of seven bedrooms, six, well, three sitting rooms, an exotic pool, and an in-house state-of-the-art five-star club and restaurant. So? So, there are rules, you see. And these rules have to be adhered to strictly. Failure to adhere to any one of these rules will attract a very stiff penalty. May I? As you can see, the layout speaks of exquisite, supreme quality. And as such, absolute care must be taken while sponging down the house. I beg your pardon? What do you mean by sponge the house? Now you listen, young man. If you're asking me to do some sort of chores in this hellhole you call a house, I will take it to mean that you're some kind of like a comedian. And this is one of your silly jokes. Sponge the house, my foot. Well, funny as your jokes may seem uh, sound in your ears, you will sponge the house down three times in a week and I expect you to make excellent and exquisite dishes. While we're talking about it, let me show you the laundry room. This way, please. <laughs> You're a joker. I'll find myself a room. I'm going to the office. The key to the door, please. Rule number two. The bad must wife must be a sit-at-home housewife. Sorry? Are you saying that I, Melanie Darling, the only heir to the Darling dynasty, a what? As the patriarch, the head of the house, was speaking before he was rudely interrupted, 
The Badmas traditionally marry housewives and not career wives, and as such, everything to do with the office, files, and work must be done away with. You will familiarize yourself with your new role as a housewife. Sorry, what nonsense are you talking about? What I am saying is that you will go upstairs and change from that red light district colored attire you're wearing. Wear something more appropriate or maybe not. Go inside there, the kitchen, and prepare me a nice dish of amala and migiri. So which, if you don't know, is a Yoruba delicacy. And being a Yoruba man, I like mine extra spicy. Like, I don't understand. Are you talking to me? No, I am talking to the shadow of casting on that wall. I will be waiting upstairs, awaiting your preparation of the meal. And remember, extra spicy. <laughs> Me, melanin darling. What's taking you so long? Hmm? What's taking you so long? Look, I'm not in the habit of waiting for my meals, you know. So you actually meant that nonsense you said downstairs. Do you think you can make me your toy? I own you. I do with you whatever I please. What's so difficult about that to understand? Well, you can't take everything away from me. You can't take my job away from me. You have no job. Really? The only job you have is to take care of me. The only job you have is to cook my meals. The only job you have is to do my laundry. The only job you have is perhaps to give me good sex whenever I want to and however I want to. Just in case you don't understand, let me give a refresher course. The only reason your mother has that company is because of the deal we have. And should you break it at any point in time, you and your mother get thrown out into the streets. Well, there's only one thing in the menu here, and that is you get served what you deserve. I swear, I will fight you. I will fight you with everything in me. I don't have any time for this nonsense, okay? I have no time to fight with your overinflated ego or your minuscule mind. What I want is my bakery. I will not say to you again. No delays. This is your last chance. What kind of nonsense is this now? <gasps> yes, I'm coming now. The board of directors are. Yeah, just stall them for me. Just get the slides. Feed them with the slides and everything. Yeah, I'll call you back. Elvis, what's going on? Sir. Bring the car. I need to get to Broadway right now. Uh, sorry, sir. We have a flat tire, sir. Okay, just get the Highlander. Get get the Highlander. Let's go to the office. Sir, I'm sorry. Even the uh, Highlander will have a flat tire, too. Is this a joke? What's going on here? Sir, I'm also confused. I don't know. Look, I need to get to the office right now. Go and get the, the, the Lexus. I don't care if you clean it or not. The Ventral is not clean, right? Just bring it. Sir, the, the Highlander. All of them have flat tire too. Heaven give me strength. What is going on? Is this a conspiracy? I need to get to the office now! <laughs> oh, my darling husband. Are you mad? <laughs> you know, you can use the taxi or jump a motorcycle. Newsflash CEO Prime Bank Limited jumps a motorcycle. <laughs> that would be a great headline, don't you think so? <laughs> <laughs> you did this? Uh uh. It is my shadow that is cast on the wall that did it. If you don't mind, I need my beauty to sleep. Sir, so, so what do we do right now? Or should I call the close uh, branch to get us a vehicle? Do bikes run along here? 
Yes, you can get by the outside. I can get to the yes. Joseph. Sir. Madam. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's inside. You never do her, sir. Mel! 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 How did that idiot let you into this house without my permission? Anyway, I'll get to his nonsense later. Mel? Come downstairs and open this door right now! Enough of that already! And if I don't? If you don't? Well, please, for the sake of your life mm. and that of your mother's, come downstairs and open this door now! Well, you can go back to your office or check into a hotel. A day without you in this house feels like heaven. I'll call you once I'm done with my beauty sleep. I swear, if I come downstairs and get you, what I'll do to you if your mother will not recognize you? Come down, sister, open this door now! All these ones are just cheap talk. I will not open the door. You can go and call that your fat short friend, Inspector General, whatever his name is also known as. Elvis! Go and get me that ladder now! Get me that ladder! Ladder! I'm going to climb up to that place and I'll deal with you. Hey! I will show you today. Bring that ladder! What does it look like I want to do? I have to get into my house and deal with this woman. What is that in your hand? My hand? Are you afraid of my hand again? What is that in your hand? What is what? Everybody come on! The CEO has climbed back to me he wants to climb a ladder. I say, power mind that he is now. He wants to come and show strength and fight with his wife. Oh, climb, go oh, climb! Mm. Oh. Power mind! Climb, I'm waiting for you. Joseph! Come back, come here right now. He's oh, inviting his referee or he wants to show that he can fight his wife for oh, climb! Do you, you think I'm afraid of you? Do you think I'm afraid of you? Go and ask about why they call me small pepper. Do you think I'm afraid of you? Climb now. You want to show yourself that you are a power man. Climb. This is my house, you know. Uh -huh. This is my house. I don't have house. You brought me from the street. Climb now. Climb. Hold it. Hold it. I'll deal with you. You, you wouldn't dead. You wouldn't, you wouldn't. You pop what on me. Bye, bye, bye. You pop what on me. Did you see that? <laughs> you pop... Next time, I will spice up this water with hot pepper. You will know why they are calling me small pepper. Well, this is the end of you. This... I should be afraid of you now. I say power mind that you are. Climb. No, go ahead. Climb. You will pay for this. Yeah. I swear to God, you will pay for this. You will absolutely pay for this. Come back. Rubbish. Try me next time again. Nonsense.
dare he is. I can't find my clothes in the wardrobe. Where did you move them to? Um, you might want to check the gym house at the back. The gym house? What are my clothes doing at the back of the house? Well, there's only one way to find out. Why don't you go behind and check? Are you crying? Why? I'm only doing you a favor. I mean, I looked at your taste in clothing and frankly, that's ridiculous. So I thought maybe um, since my wife has a much better fashion sense than you do, that it fits better in her clothes. I mean, I've looked at your shape almost like her. So I thought maybe you'd um, fit better in her clothes. Did I tell you that um, Kim owned a fashion home before you killed her? So you bought my designer clothes? Just because you want me to fit into your late wife's clothes? Yes. Oh my goodness. How did I make this cycle in the first place? Jesus! You know what? I hate you! I'm not quite done yet. I was about to say that um, that fake hair on your head is about the only hair you have left in this entire house as we speak. You burnt my hair? Yes. And um, in addition to that, you see, I blocked all your credit cards. You see, I've noted with dismay the um, frivolous purchases you've been making and thought maybe um, I should put a stop to it, especially with those ridiculous Chinese uh, meals you're in the, in the habit of uh, ordering. Bankole, you burnt my 38 inches bone straight hair? Mm -hmm. Peruvian hair? Yes. Indian, Cambodian, Malaysian hair? Oh God! Yeah, um, sorry, please don't try to distract me. I, I, was going to, I was trying to say that um, if you must eat in this house, you must cook. If you must wear anything, it has to be Versace. You see, my wife loved Versace, so you have to fit in that mode. And my wife, being the loving wife she was, cooked every meal that I ate. Being a traditional man as I am, I like my meals home cooked. So you must cook for me in this house. Otherwise, our business deal of your company being owned by you will be nullified. I will send you and your mother into the streets and I will take everything that you own. Oh, I Am I forgetting you. anything? Ah, uh, yes, your attitude. I need to enroll you in attitude school because your attitude sucks. Your lesson starts now by cleaning up after me. Thank you very I much. I hate you! I hate you, Bangalore Bangles, I hate you! You are not transparent too. Young woman, you'll do well to use the TV upstairs. I won't. You should go upstairs. Use the TV upstairs. 
There are 10 television sets in this building. I own this house and I decide what happens <coughs> here. You should know your place. <laughs> Excuse me, what language is that again? Because it obviously sounds like shit to me. Your house. I take responsibility for what I say. I do not take responsibility for what you understand, mm -hmm. being a dullard that you are. You know a real man, hmm? I'm talking about a real man, they will never insult their wife, not even as a joke, for your own case. <sighs> Are you by any chance implying you're actually a lady? <laughs> I'm sorry, that title belongs to my wife whom you killed. <laughs> you know what? I won't stand here and do this with you. You are just an egoistic coward who feels bullying a woman nourishes his ego. But just so you know, I wasn't built to break. So no matter what you do, you can never break me. No, go on. No, keep those words rolling out of your mouth. Perhaps maybe sometime next uh, year or next century, something sensible will actually drop out of your mouth. Were you born on the highway? Because that is where most accidents happen. <laughs> you know why stupid people like you exist? Stupid people like you exist so we can have something to laugh at. I'm sure you think the whole world revolves around you. Well, my dear lady, what you think is the world revolving around is actually us laughing at your stupidity. You were just a bag of pampas. Self-absorbed, but full of shit. Self-absorbed, mm -hmm. but full of shit. Exactly. Does that actually sound clever in your ears? You know what? There's a saying, it is better to be thought an idiot than to open your mouth and remove every doubt that you're actually an idiot. <laughs> Thank you. If I don't sound like an idiot, how will you understand me? Please get lost, Mr. Bankole Badmos. Yes? Yes, please, come in. She's right here. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You How's your trip? Beautiful. Mm. You look so stunning. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. You must be Melanie Badmos. And who are you? Elena, your new teacher. <coughs> my what? Um, please, help me take my bag upstairs, ma'am. Thank you. Do come and tell me all about your trip. You got here in such record time. Did you fly or something? Were you waiting around? Mel? Tell them I have been shut down. And the boy Mel? Him. Sorry? Sorry, it's time for your class. I thought I was talking to someone. Oh, you're here. Okay, so, um, this is an attitude class. And in this class, you'll be learning orientation, manners, expression of your actions, position and posture of your body, and so on and so forth. Now, I'll start by asking you, what do you understand by the word attitude? And what make you think that you're qualified for this position? Excuse me, I will not tolerate any form of misconduct from you. You must cooperate as this is my job. Do you understand? Now tell me, on a scale of 10, how would you rate this attitude of yours? Right. Mm. Mm. Better than yours. <laughs> you actually needed this class more than I thought. Are you offended with my opinion? You need to see the ones I keep to myself. 
I beg your pardon. Please don't beg for it yet. What's your educational qualification again? Oh, I see. You should be honored to have me around you. You see this lady seated right here? She has a master's degree in psychology from the University of Canterbury Christchurch in New Zealand. <laughs> and I can see you're trying to teach your senior colleague behavioral neuroscience. Is that a word you're struggling to say? <laughs> Listen, have you ever heard of the best graduating student in 2018 from University of California? Right. Use your Google. And unfreeze. Are you the one that poured or drank my freshly squeezed juice in the kitchen? You see, I'm beginning to think we have something in common. You see this nonsense you just said doesn't answer my question. Are you the one that drank or poured my freshly squeezed juice in the kitchen? Is your drama going to the intermission soon? You know, I don't, I don't really what? understand why you're still here. Okay? It's high time you left this house immediately! Your point? He is my husband. Mm. So stay out of it. Stay out of our business! <laughs> oh, come on. This is Africa. And so is never a crowd. Mm. You see, I am ready to patch up your holes and fill in the blank spaces. Just be accommodating. I see. You must be a comedian to think that you can match up in the league of women that I, Melanie Darling, belong to. You know, to, to think that you actually want to monopolize the most wanted man in South South Nigeria when you do not even have what it takes to have a regular man to yourself, I wonder what he saw in you. Is this you? Like, is this really you? You know what? I am tired of your nonsense. Like, I am seriously tired of all your rubbish. And I'm giving you 10 minutes to pack all your belongings and leave this building. My friend, shut up. Otherwise, be ready to face my fury. Shut up and just go with a wind, bitch. Oh. Okay. 
Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Elena, <laughs> hi. Elena, I'm a married man now. Please stop. Being a side bed, you know, won't hurt me. Moreover, what is it she has that I do not have? Just look at me. You are here for a purpose, please. Let, concentrate on that first. Why are you doing all this? Why? That is not for you to know. Just do as you are instructed. I let you marry Kim because I was out of the country. Now she's dead. I thought you were going to find me and let's see what we could have together. He said you decided to get married to that rabbit. What we had in the past is there. Let it remain there. The reason why I'm paying you heavily is for you to make her life a living hell in this place. Let's not get distracted, please. And why is that? This is my house. I endorse who goes and who stays. And I say I want this idiot out of my house. Mel, you should pack the plate. Pack this plate. And you should have some manners, you know. Huh? Did you hear? Did you hear this fat thing call me my name? Ah! Is something wrong with you? You? She hit me. Bankole, are you going to sit here and watch your side piece humiliate me right in front of you? Um, ladies, I have very urgent work in the office right now as we speak. Uh, both of you are women, so fight her. Fight me! And a married woman like you is still in bed. Eh? Did you just pour water on me? <laughs> Maybe, come, let's go downstairs and go and make breakfast. They're speaking English. Sense. Become, you know. Hello, Mom. Melanin, how are you? Are you happy? Yes, Mom. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm fine. I'm excited. Does he treat you right? Does... Yes, Mom, he does. Um, he's a very um, loving man. His feeling towards me is uh, overwhelming. So, where are you going for the honeymoon? Um, we're still, we haven't decided on that yet, Mom. Um, but maybe Paris, yeah. 
Still working on it? Oh no, that's not good enough. Is Bankole close to you? Put him on the phone, I want to talk to him. Um, mom, he's actually downstairs making me breakfast. <laughs> he's such a sweet man. Breakfast? What happened to all the mates? Um, mom, he... He just thought it wise that since we just got married, we needed some alone time so we can bond, you know, privacy, yeah. Hmm. I miss you, my angel. We can't wait to have you back at the office. Yeah, right. I love you. All right, mom. Idiot, just pour water on me. Dear husband, just a moment ago, I thought about you, and my heart is filled with gratitude. So before another day goes by, I want to say thank you. Thank you for the late night laughs and the early morning kisses. Thank you for making me a mother to be. Thank you for holding my hand through this life and proving that good men still exist. Thank you for your love and friendship. And most of all, thank you for the pleasure of being your wife. You see, I'm not perfect. You are neither perfect. We fight, we argue, we hurt, we cry. We almost separated, but at the end of it, we choose to hold on and stay because our love will always win. I love every bit of you. <laughs> Happy anniversary to us. Your wife, Kim Bankole Badmos. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what's what's going on? You are what's going on. You. Mel, what's going on? This. This is what's going on. What you destroyed, my life, and what is going on, Mel. You destroyed her. What did she do to you, Mel? You are here. You destroyed her with just one phone call. One phone call. You destroyed my life. She was a good woman. If you wanted to fight anyone, you could have fought me. Me. Because I blocked you. Because I broke your motto. from you.
What is going on? This is what is going on. What is talking? What is talking here? Is this not the Jezebel, her majestic and annoying majesty? Don't touch me! Look at her. Everybody come and see the person that poisoned my life. Only her. Look at her. Only her. She alone destroyed me and my entire existence. Hmm. Look at her. Very beautiful. Very beautiful woman. You not know that she's a snake. Psst, don't touch. If you touch me, with that venom of yours. Will you lie and say you don't have any venom? Were you not the one that killed my wife? With one phone call, frame, 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 you killed my wife! Only you. <laughs> there's trouble, man. If they see you and a snake in the same place, they should kill you. Batter your head with the snake, with the, 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 the an iron rod. I don't know why I cannot touch a woman. I was raised well. That's why I've not killed you yet. You beastly human being. What did she do to you? Eh? What did she do to you? What did she do to you? You don't know who she is. She's very famous, so. Menolin Darling. What an ironic name, Darling. Darling Snake. Daughter of billionaire Bill Darling. A gem. A pearl. 
a god in her own eyes. Please stop, okay? You're drunk. You're really messed up. You need to rest, okay? So I am messed up. I am messed up. Yeah. I am drunk okay, because you made me. Water, okay? I don't need any water. I don't give me any water. You are just an H. If you add B to it, that is what you are. I don't need any. Don't give me any water. Poison. I'm not sure if poison is like that thing. If you break that thing near me, I'll Trust spit on you. I will spit on you. My spit may not be as venomous as you venom you spit out, but I will spit on you right, nevertheless. Oh, try. don't touch me! Don't well, touch me! Don't kill me. me! Don't kill me! What please. happened to him? He'll be fine. Um. I think you should go upstairs and rest. You I'll should know your place. He's my husband. And so? Please take your hands off him. Go upstairs and rest. I'll take care of him. You have two seconds to get the fuck out of this building! You should at least let me pick up my thing. Well, you don't have that luxury of time. What about him? He's my husband. I'll fucking take care of him. I need to get out! Leave this minute. You cheap slut. How dare you? Don't you? Don't you? How dare you take advantage of someone who is drunk? Move! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate snakes. Come to my house. You pretend to be a, some kind of a stupid attitude teacher. And you have your own secret plan. Get out! You don't think I'm fucking talking with you. If I ever see you anywhere close to this compound again, you're dead. You hear me? Slot. What am I doing in Elena's room? What are you doing here? Good morning. Why am I naked? Good morning. That's not the answer to my question. I said, why am I like this? Well, it's not out of place for you to be naked in front of your wife. Wait, wait. Don't tell me we had it last night. Yes, we did. 
you wanted it so badly I had to oblige as a good wife that I am. This is a joke, isn't it? You were absolutely amazing last night. I'll make you breakfast. to know a braver woman I have no words no words at all knowing fully well that I led you to your grave too early I wish I wish you never made that call I wish you never listened to me. I wish I knew what I know now. I wish that I can turn back the hands of time. You were so perfect, so beautiful. And Bankole loves you dearly. You two were so... So perfect until I played in with so much bitterness. Kim, I am so sorry. I wish words can bring you back. Right now I ask that wherever you are, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I am really sorry. Please forgive me. Texture and that sweetness that you need. 
What's that smell downstairs? That's me trying to prepare your amala and wigger. So don't worry, it'll be ready soon. Just trying to check. I am not interested. And what is that excitement on your face? <laughs> Why shouldn't I? You think this is a joke, right? No, you think this is a joke. Ah, this is your game, right? Playing happy families, you know, loving wife, bringing her husband home, you know? Is that why you killed my wife? You killed my wife so you could just slide in and take over her place. That's your plan, isn't it? Me? No, me. <laughs> you seem to have forgotten that it was your idea that would get married in the first place. You cannot be happy. Do you understand? You cannot be happy. That is not the plan. You can't be happy. You don't deserve a smile. Talk more of happiness. What do you want from me? Huh? What else do you want from me? I am only trying to fix things. Fix what? No, tell me what it is you want to fix. Is it the life that you just ruined by killing my wife? That's what you want to fix? You heartless, cold, nasty, beastly woman. Is that it? Okay, you know what? It's fine. Kill me already. You have a gun, don't you? Go ahead, kill me already! Yes, I deserve it. I feel bad already. I shouldn't have made that question. I feel bad. But don't you feel terrible? If you had actually moved your car peacefully the first day we met, we wouldn't have been here. Hey, don't go there. Ah, don't go there. Eh? You want to share your blame with me? Your wicked blame? Is that what you want to share with me? You wicked thing! What was my, what was my crime? Simply that I asked you for a little courtesy. That was why you killed my wife. Is that it? Ha! Okay, okay, fine, fine. I'm the worst human being. My crime was so great. What did my wife do to you? Tell me. What did my own poor people do to you? I am tired. Stop it already. I'm tired. You know what? I want out. From all this nonsense, I'm tired. Out where? You're not going anywhere. You are staying here in this marriage. You will die in this marriage. I swear to it. You will die here. You're not going anywhere. Here is where you're going you to be. You are a psycho. Who is a psycho? You! You who are a psycho. psycho. You are a psycho. I'm, I'm tired going. of your gun. I am just tired. You came. You will not walk out. Oh, um. Our first class guest is here. Uh, welcome, mom. Hello, Bankole. How are you? Well, um, as you can see, we're doing absolutely fine. Splendid, actually. Uh. Honey, why don't you take mom's things upstairs? Uh, sure. <laughs> really? What of the servants? Uh, mom, please don't start now, okay? I'll show you to your room. <laughs> Let's go. Inside. I'll speak and span for you. <laughs> My greatest mommy. Did your mother really have to come in unannounced? Do you people have a problem with cursing your family? And what was that lovey dovey all about? Well, you should enjoy it while it lasts. No maids in the house, and yet everywhere speak and span. <laughs> well done. Oh, thank you, ma'am. I really appreciate it. You see, um, we decided to send them all away so we could bond better with one another, right. you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, how has marriage been with you both? Uh, it's married. been um, fantastic. You know, it's 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 it, being with your daughter has been such a revelation. You know, every it's it's been a magical experience being with um, your beautiful daughter, my wife, mm. Mel. Tell <laughs> me about it. Well, um, she's 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 um beautiful. I mean, just 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 adorable, you know, and. Um, uh, intelligent? Did, did I mention intelligent? She's, 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 um, I mean, look at that. Look at that smile. Doesn't that just brighten my day? And, um, she, she's, she's fun to be with. I mean, there's no day we don't have jokes and laugh at one another's jokes and, uh... I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, yes. Mom, enough of the questions and answers, okay? Let's talk about more exciting things. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Talking about more exciting things? How is the baby? What hospital did you register for antenatal care? Um, um, uh, 
Um, it's just that I we lost it <laughs> two weeks after our wedding. I see. Yeah, I mean, it's, it really tore us up. It was painful, but um, not to worry. I mean, we love each other. We're still here for one another. We're both very active, and there's no reason why we shouldn't have like three more kids within the next five years. You know, given uh, <laughs> activities. Yeah. Oh, this is a, um, your mother's here. We shouldn't talk about <laughs> such things. Are you sure everything is all right? Yeah! <laughs> Why would you think that? I mean, we're, I mean like, we're like uh, five and six. I mean, we breathe. We're so in love with one another. I mean, I look into her eyes and I just get lost in them. I mean, look at that smile. Look at that smile. <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I love her. I mean, it's, it's sunshine every day with us, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, I plan to stay for a while. I hope that's okay. Yeah. yeah, of course. I mean, the more the merrier. I mean, you just see a love blossom every day. What, what better than my mother-in-law? You know, the inspiration for my beauty. You know, being with us. And Stay as long as you like. Beautiful you know. Experience. Oh, this has failed. Let me get something to move. Okay. 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 Uh. Take your hands off. Who even wants to hands his hands on you? This this is your doing, isn't it? I you called her. You called her. I know you called her. You called her to come and stay here. How with did her. I tell I don't want her. You are a devil. This is the way you were pretending. Look at you, mm -hmm. witch. You're a devil. You're a devil. Listen. You are a devil. Sooner or later, she will leave. I will deal with you. you I will deal with you. You are a devil. Uh, Look at you. What are you doing? Who do you think? Of course I want to sleep here. My mom is obviously smarter than you think. No, you can't sleep here. No, you cannot sleep in my room. There are five other rooms in this building. Choose one of them to go and sleep in, but not in this one. Tell me, why do you have to be so rude? Huh? The fact that I play minor in major issues doesn't give you the right to use words wrongly. You are confused. That's what you are. And don't you need a speed bump between your brain and your mouth? I cannot like you. I will never like you. You can never ever make me like you come what may. <laughs> I cannot like you. I don't want you to like me. You must be mistaking me for someone who gives a shit. Please, I want to... Listen. Listen to me very carefully. I don't care however you want to resolve your mother's issues. That is your cross to bear. You are not staying in this place. Go back to your room and go and sleep there. You know, you are just something else. You know what? Please. Can we just do this for the sake of my mother? No, I will not. I will not do anything for the sake of your mother, whatever she is. You will not spend a night in my bed. And that is final. Now get out. Because I'm just playing with you. Leave me alone. Get out. Get Leave me alone. I said leave. Leave me the fuck out. I am not going anywhere. Get out. I am not going anywhere. Get out. Get out. I have the right to be here. This is my house. You I are am nobody. You have no right to be here. You are nothing but a murderer. Now get oh, out. Oh, look at this one. You are the murderer. You are the murderer. Yes. So you think punishing me. We help you heal over the death of your wife. I, you must be mistaken! I don't need you to heal over my wife that you murdered! Uh, you are nothing but a soft, cold-hearted uh, murderer who, who thinks your whole world is born around her. Immediately. 
Mom, I can explain. Go and get your belongings now! First thing tomorrow, I will sign all necessary documents to hand over everything. The company, the house, the estate, everything to you. But I leave with my daughter tonight. You kept such a thing away from me? How could you? You sacrificed yourself for what? The family business? Knowing your condition? You know your state of mind? Mom, I am fine. The doctors confirmed that I am okay. I'm you are okay, not Mom. okay. We need to get you help as soon as possible. Mom, I, 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 I just couldn't stand and watch him take everything away from us. I felt it was the right thing to do. <laughs> You felt it was the right thing to move in with a man who blames you for the death of his wife? How wise. <sighs> Look, we have fought, we have lost. It's time to move on. First thing tomorrow, I'm calling the company lawyer to draw up documents and hand over everything back to the bad nurses. Mom? Look, do you know what you mean to me? You mean the world to me. You are more important to me than any company. First things first, you will go to Bankole and apologize. Apologize for the pain you caused. Ask for his forgiveness. And then you're moving back to the States. How can I help you? You know, I always admired you from far. Six years ago, when Istone Bank was on the verge of collapse, you came in with your brilliant ideas from England, and you turned things around. And you pulled Istone Bank to one of the top banks in the country. I've always been your biggest fan. I wished I had a son like you. But no, I have melanin, my sweet, cheerful, charming daughter. Born into every luxury a child could hope for, but unfortunate to have us as parents. I went through with her father. She heard every hurtful word we used, all the vile language we used on each other. We'd be at each other's throats for days, spewing evil. 
she would hear it. She learns that anger and fighting was the way. This one, I'm talking to you! This one, you better treat me like you don't have anything like this. I'm talking to you! Why are you pursuing me? Why are you following me? Am I the only man that cheats? Instead of you being happy that someone is taking care of me, you're, you're busy nagging. You think I'll be tied to you and you alone? You must be joking. Just you must be joking. Look at you. Going around buying cars and houses for ladies. When I am here slaving away, slaving away at work, you're not ashamed of yourself, Clifford. Shame on you, Abigail. Look, just take a look at you. A poor man's daughter that I picked from the gutters. Because I've cleaned you up, you can now fly, right? So you have the gods and the temerity to talk back at me. Me! Listen and listen very good. I will marry that girl and I will bring her into this house and there is nothing, I repeat, nothing you can do. You, nothing! Mel, what are you doing here? Go back upstairs! Go upstairs! Where are you going to Clifford? I'm still talking to you! Clifford, you can't walk away from me! <laughs> Mama. Yes. What is it? Nothing. Nothing. Yes. Then why are you crying? I'm not crying. Of course you are crying. No, I'm not crying. Then why? Where is your mom? They are upstairs, quiet and fighting as usual. Hmm. Uncle Paul, do you have something? I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. You are hungry? <laughs> yes, I'm hungry. Yes, I have, I, have, I have some food. I have some noodles out there with juice. I know you like juice. Okay, please, can I have some? Of course, of course. Okay. Um, uh, uh, but <laughs> let's, 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 go. let's go to my room. <laughs> please, can you help me bring it? I'm here. Oh no, uh, I, can't, I can't bring the food outside now. I want to eat as well. Let's go inside to eat together. Eh? Eh, please, come. let's go. Let's go. Okay. Eh, don't worry. Eh? Stop crying. Eh? Stop crying. Stop crying. Mel! Mel! Who's this girl? Mel! Ma, where are you? Peter! Peter! <laughs> Ma! <laughs> Ma! <laughs> Ma! Ma! <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 i We thought it was a passing phase till she turned 17. Then she was diagnosed with IED, intermittent explosive disorder. She was prone to violent outbursts. She would shout, push and break things. It got out of control. So we decided to send her abroad to further her education and for psychiatric rehabilitation. Rehabilit? Are you saying she? Yes. <sighs> she has been undergoing psychiatric treatment. The doctor recently let me know that she was better now. And I was happy. I'm getting weaker every day and I, 
I wanted her by my side to run the company. I thought she was ready, but unfortunately. How? I'm in her state? Run the company? The doctor assured me that she was fine. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I'm sorry for the part she played in the death of your wife. I'm sorry that I failed as a mother to bring her up in the right way. I, I failed her as a mother. I'm sorry. Please forgive her and forgive me. These are the company documents. We've signed everything back to you. Please forgive us. I'm sorry for the things that I said, for the things that I believed, and for the things that I did wrong. What I did were really hurtful things. I am not going to make any excuses. I take responsibilities. You are a good man. You don't deserve those hurtful things that I said. Please, forgive me. I know nothing I'll say right now that can bring back your lovely wife. But from the depth of my heart, I am sorry. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. I promise, tell me anything you want me to do, anything at all, and I will do it. But please, just, just forgive me, please. I'm sorry. Kim, my darling, what would you have me do? Right now, I'm so confused. Uh, I need you to talk to me right now.
I wish I'd never left you that day. I'm living in pain, punishing everyone. Punishing someone. Because of the guilt. Realizing I neglected you. I'm the one at fault. I'm so sorry, my darling. Your absence has made me realize I actually didn't neglect you. I never realized how much I loved you until I lost you. Forgive me, King. Forgive me. Ah. Ah. I wish I could just have you once more in my life. But I make this promise. I will never, ever, love any woman the way I love you. I got your message. Thank you for coming. Oi. Well, um, I'm back on my mat. Listen, I am. I am sorry. I am so sorry for everything. Oh, come on. It's quite okay. It's all in the past. I wanted to see you before I leave. Leave? To where? Well, um, I'll be going away for about a month or thereabouts um, to think things over. I too need some time to heal. Yeah, you do. I also wanted to give you this. These are the documents um, for the company and uh, the house. I have no need for them. Actually, I never intended uh, keeping onto them. I merely held onto them to See if you'd bend or show some sort of remorse. They've always been yours. Thanks for your generosity, but I'll be going for rehab. I don't think this would be necessary anymore, so Please. you can keep it. Please. I have resigned as a CEO of uh, iStone Industry. Yes, he may be going for rehab, but you know, Mr. Mecca could be the 
active director while you're away. Besides, do it for your mother as well. Thank you. My mother will really appreciate this. Thanks. And I also... I thought it was to give this back to you. Since it wasn't given to me Willingly. Um, tell you what, why don't you why don't you hold on to it? I know it's been a roller coaster between us. Um, you go back, uh, think about it, and whatever you decide is okay with me. I know. I see you're still my wife. What do you say? I. Without the drama. Are you sure? I'm a change, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, during our, I don't know what to call it, fake wedding or so, <laughs> you didn't give me this ring willingly. So, in order for me to see that you're a changed person, I would want you to put it back rightly. From your heart this time. <laughs> with this, no, with this finger, these hands, I put back this ring with no drama, no <laughs> bad drama. <laughs> right, no bad drama. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you already. <laughs> Thank you for forgiving me. 